hello friend so when we are buying any product so what we are, we will check so we will check the quality performance cost and the aesthetic look of the product okay so every company focuses on the aesthetic look of the product with the performance and the quality and the cost of the product so we will check all these parameter before buying the product and in this parameter the aesthetic look of the product is very important to attract the customer okay so the aesthetic look of the product it depends on the quality of the surfaces in the product design okay so the quality of surface in the product design are categorized into three different parts like a class a surface class b surface and class c surface okay so this uh, uh, classification of the surfaces are generally based on the visibility aesthetic importance and the manufacturing requirement so based on these three parameters the uh, quality of surfaces are classified okay so let understand the class a surfaces okay so the class a surfaces are uh, highest quality surfaces and that are directly visible to the customer okay or you can say the outermost surfaces are the class a surfaces that are visible to the customer okay so uh, we can directly see the surfaces and having the uh, so this class a surfaces having the critical for the product aesthetic appearance so these surfaces are very critical to uh, for the uh, aesthetic point of view okay so it can attract the customer towards the product okay and if you may say this is the first impression towards the customer the class air surfaces gives the first impression towards the customer okay so you can see these all images having the very uh, attractive look and the aesthetics okay so the outer mode surfaces are the class a surfaces okay and we need to treat those parts uh, carefully so that we will have the good finishing we will have the uh, defect free products we need okay so this all uh, means outer geometrics are the class a surfaces and we need the careful attention to manufacture and to have the good surface finishing of the product so that customer sh uh, customer uh, should attract toward the product and they can buy the product and also uh, as a company point of view we uh, uh, so that we have the brand images so to create the brand images we need the class a surfaces and the super finishing of the of that product okay so there, there are the different requirement for the class a surfaces so the class a surfaces should be have the highest quality surface okay so it must be visible uh, with the no visible defects okay so the class a surfaces are highly polished okay highly polished and smoothness okay and it should have the reflect uh, reflectivity okay so it has the uh, high surface finish and the texture so that the, the customer will attract towards the product okay and it should have the uniform in the appearance uh, across the entire surface so uniformity should be there okay and uh, uh, the high dimensional accuracy and fine tolerance so it is manufactured at a very high dimensional accuracy and fine tolerance okay so these are the uh, few uh, requirements for the class A surfaces and uh, why class A surface is important so to attract the customer to create the brand image and to overcome the competitive uh, competitive markets so we need the uh, class A surfaces okay so our our product should be different from the market so okay and it will be good attractive from the market product so that's why we need the class a surfaces so that our our product should be look very premium and very attractive okay for that purpose 
we need the class a surface because it is the outermost geometry of the product and it will attract the customer uh, based on the appearance and based on the finishing of the product now let understand the class b surfaces okay so the class b surfaces are not visible to the customer under normal condition but we can see occasionally okay so they have the moderate aesthetic and the manufacturing requirements compared to the class a surface okay so here uh, we need the good quality good surface finish and good durability but compared to the class a we have the less requirements here regarding the quality for and the uh, quality of the surfaces okay so here uh, some minor defects okay some minor defects are allowed if they are uh, if they are not affecting on the performance so the minor defects are allowed here but on the class a surface we will not allow any visible defects okay so here if you, if you can see uh, under the hood the there are different uh, components under the hood so those components are the class b surfaces so under the normal condition it is not visible but if you open this part then uh, you can see the inside component and those inside components are the class b surfaces okay you can see the inside geometry of the surface geometry then those surfaces are the class b surfaces okay and next one is the class c surfaces okay so the class c surfaces are the tertiary surfaces and that are not visible to the customer okay so these are the internal components of the product okay so the internal component of the product and those surfaces are the class c surfaces okay so these surfaces are focuses on the functionality rather than the aesthetics okay so we generally focuses on the functionality of that part okay uh, not on the aesthetic okay so the aesthetic uh, requirement is not there so if it is perform well then it is good okay so here uh, uh, we can accept the minor defects if it is not affecting on the functionality okay so because we are not considering the aesthetic look of that uh, pro, uh, parts so like you can take the example of the internal structure components of the vehicle okay so those components are generally not visible to the customer okay but you can see those uh, those parts or the uh, those components while the servicing of the uh, product okay so while the servicing uh, only you can see those uh, uh, parts so those uh, parts are called as class c surfaces okay the class a surfaces focuses on the aesthetic uh, polishing and the high quality surfaces okay and it should be free from any defects and the class a surfaces are the outermost outermost surfaces of the product and it is generally visible to the customer directly visible to the customer okay and it will attract the customer toward the product and it will create the brand image of the company okay and class b surfaces are the are the uh, uh, secondary surfaces and we can see occasionally okay under normal condition we can't see the class b surfaces but occasionally we can see it okay so the uh, here the modern aesthetic requirements are there okay because occasionally we are see okay so modern aesthetic requirement is there for this uh, part okay and here we require the good finish but compared to class a surface uh, we require the less uh, means uh, uh, moderate uh, surface finish okay uh, so minor defects are allowed if it is uh, not affecting the functionality okay and the class c surfaces are not visible to the customer okay the class c surfaces of the parts generally focuses on the functionality rather than the aesthetic okay so that's it for this video uh, thank you for watching if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel okay thank you for watching see you in the next video